if you want to create cables in Blender, you can use this fantastic add-on that allows you to do that easily in a very short period of time. It has many different features and tools that can be more than enough to create all sorts of cables and manipulate them as you please. The add-on is called a Cable Raider, and today I'm going to cover 10 functions of this amazing add-on. Number 1. Create a Simple Cable to start creating cables using this add-on, you need to press Shift-Alt-C, then you are gonna choose Create a Cable from the menu. Then choose a point A and a point B to see the cable created for you. You can also change the width of the cable by pressing S and change the tension by pressing D from the keyboard and using the mouse to control it. You can also add additional cables at the same time by pressing Q and repeating the process every time you need a new cable. And you can control it the same way every time. Number 2. Draw Cables on Flat Surfaces To do this, press Shift-Alt-C and choose to draw a cable. And then choose a surface and start drawing on top of it and you will see the cable created for you immediately. This is a very nice feature that allows you to have more freedom when creating your cables. And most importantly, it is super fast and efficient. Number 3. Connect a cable to a surface To do this, you need to choose a cable, go to the edit mode using tap from the keyboard, Choose a point in the cable and press Shift-Alt-C to create a cable and select the point B, which is the surface on your model. And of course, you can always change how the cable looks to fit the situation. This comes in very handy when creating cables that are a combination of cables you drew and cables you create automatically. Number 4. Connecting two cables together To be able to do this, you need to select both cables that you want to connect. Go to the edit mode by pressing tab from the keyboard then choose the two points or the two ends you want to connect. After that, press Shift-Alt-C and create a cable. It is as simple as that. This can also be very useful if you want to create a cable that has a shape that is hard to create directly or just when you want to create a cable that goes over multiple sides of your model. Number 5. Add connectors to cables. This is one of the features that stand out in the Cable Raider add-on. To do this, you need to have your cable created in addition to the connector that you are going to use. Just select the connector, then select the cable, go to the edit mode, then select the point or points where you want your connector to be added. After that, you need to press Shift-Alt-C and choose to add connectors. This will automatically create it for you, which is amazing. Number 6. Add connectors to multiple cables. This is almost the same process as the previous one. The only difference is that you have to select the connector you want to use in addition to all the cables. And in the edit mode, you need to select all the points that need connectors and the add-on will place one on each point. Number 7. Add Segments This feature allows you to create segments or objects along your spline. You need to select the segment, then the cable, and then click on Add or Edit Segment. The add-on also gives you the possibility of moving the segment along with your cable and place it wherever you want. Number 8. Copy Segments Along with Cables this is a way of adding multiple similar objects alongside your cable without having to worry about repeating the process again and again. You just need to select the segment you already have, copy it and then paste it, and then move it around. If you have many segments to copy, you can select a bunch of them, and copy them and position them accordingly. Number 9. Connect multiple objects. This feature can also be very handy in many different situations. You want to create the objects you want to be created, and then press Shift-Alt-C and choose Create from Selected Object from the menu. And the add-on will create the cables automatically for you. But I want to mention that the way the cables will be created the first based on the distance between the objects. If they are close, the cables will be hanging. But if they are too far from each other, the cables will be usually straight. Number 10. Create a pack of cables. This is another great feature that gives you more control and freedom in creating cables. You can use multiple shapes such as circles to create what looks like a selection of multiple cables. Select the cable, go to the edit mode and then press A from the keyboard and select the circles. This allows the cable to adopt a new shape represented by the circles, which is multiple different cables that are close to each other. If your work includes creating any kind of cables, or if you are creating a project and you don't want to waste a lot of time dealing with cables, then this add-on can truly be your savior and I highly recommend it because thousands of Blender artists are using it already. If you want to try this add-on, you can find links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, 
you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.